Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well. Another fun shop tour here that we are doing today, sponsored by Billy Go, Western, and Buyers. Thank you guys so much for those guys for sponsoring the tour. Actually, over here in Philly, PA, we're hanging out with Sours, Snow and Ice Management. We got Ken and Zach. What's up, guys? How you doing? Good, man. How are you guys? Good, man. How are you? I'm good. Good. It's good hanging out with you guys. It's pouring rain out here. We're going to hop in here in just a quick second, but uh, welcome to the jungle. How are you guys doing today? Good. Welcome to Philly. Yeah, it's Welcome. a great day. Welcome to the Philadelphia area, the Dude. city of brotherly love. So it's actually pouring rain, so we're going to hop inside here in just a quick second and give you guys a whole walkthrough for the facility, but you guys want to take it away? Welcome to the shop. All right. So Ken, what's the backstory here? What do we got going on, brother? So this used to be a bakery, <laughs> and then about seven years ago, Sour Snow and Ice bought it, and we got out of the parents' basement and uh, expanded to who we are today. Yeah. Uh, it's not only just some offices, but we also have the warehouse that goes back where we have some sublet tenants as well, where we share some space with, but that's where we have our shop, keep our property indoors, keep it good out of, out of the weather, cool. out of the sun. And uh, this is where we have our people, which is really the, the heartbeat of what we do here at uh, Sours. I love it. Uh, Zach, give me, uh, if, before we run into the whole tour here, because we got it through this door, we're gonna go up to the offices, back down, up and around. There's some offices upstairs, we're gonna come all the way back down here. Happen. Yeah, it's pretty cool actually. Uh, so really quick, tell me a little bit more about Sour Snow and Ice because uh, I, you guys were one of the more requested um, shop tours for me to do from social media and Instagram, so you guys gotta be doing something right. So give me the uh, maybe the elevator pitch here, right? Um, what, what do you guys do, what are you guys known for? Yeah, so we are snow only, so we're snow focused 365 days a year. Um, and we eat, breathe, and sleep snow pretty much. Yeah. Um, we service a, an area about an hour in every direction from our, our headquarters. Okay. Uh, Lehigh Valley, Delaware, New Jersey, Southeast Pennsylvania, and uh, we service commercial clients. And um, we, uh, we work with some great people, some great service providers who help us execute on the jobs. Um, but we are just, we're fully snow focused yep. and it's, everyone's rolling in the same direction year round. Uh -huh. Literally the number one question we're always asked is, what do you do in the summer? Right. And the answer always is, uh, prepare for winter. So there you we'll go. Get better service. I mean, I, that's really all it is. I love it. I love it. So only commercial though, no residential for the most part? Correct. No, no residential, no HOAs. Uh, mostly distribution, class A office space. Not true. We do the Sours parents. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> there you go. Um, Got to kill the parents. Uh, yeah, and distribution centers are really the probably our bread and butter of our of our business model. Yep. Cool deal. Yeah, distribution and then commercial. Yep. Commercial uh, offices. All right. Cool deal. Well, I'm gonna follow you guys here. Yeah. Uh, you guys can ad lib as we go. Ken, you wanna lead the way? All right. Welcome to operations. Hey guys. This is our operations team. We we're just laughing and cutting up. Now everybody's all serious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a bunch of meetings going on. As as you know, it's uh, preseason. Everyone's getting ready for snow, uh, so lots of site visits going on. Lots of meetings. Um, but this is the heart and soul of our operations team. Uh, this group works uh, face to face with our clients, um, making sure that we're providing incredible service to them year round. Awesome. Okay, what do you got, bud? Oh, so actually, this is where I started. And literally, we used to have a little office spot where I was here and I was kind of the the bouncer, which is. I think obvious. <laughs> but no, this is where we're, where everybody has to start in, at some level. Everybody learns or becomes proficient in some level of ops. Sure. Uh, for a while there, and I think even still now, all of our every employee, even an admin, are ASCA certified. Okay. So that we can make sure that everybody eats, drinks, sleeps, breathes, speaks snow. Cool. So that's important to the culture of who we are and how we give. Uh, the service that we try to give. I love it. I love it. Well, look at this. <laughs> it is a little festive. <laughs> there you go. So this is our operations and conference room. We call it the Igloo. Okay. And uh, it's where during snowstorms, our account managers and our operational team gather around the table, laptops open, and we are just uh, kind of monitoring what's going on with the storm. We're monitoring weather, monitoring traffic cameras, uh, monitoring site cameras that we have out on sites and uh, monitoring our mobile app feed that we have coming back to the office. So wow. our, our service providers, our field ops managers, they're all inputting data into a mobile app and we're all watching it right here on the TVs and uh, on our laptops as well. Wow. And we're just fighting fires if they arise, but our goal is to be proactive and, and to kind of stump all those off before they, uh, before they start. Is this, uh, not to interrupt you, is this the service providing area? Sure, yeah, this is our region currently. Whoa. That's actually pretty dope. Oh, I've, never, years. I've never seen a map oh, like this big. kind of blown up though. This uh, is actually this pretty is, dope. Yeah, this is our headquarters where we're based right now. Um, and we go about an hour in every direction. Every flag is a, a client that we currently service um, all over Jersey, Delaware, Pennsylvania. Wow. And then the black lines are regions. So each of our field ops managers have a region that they are responsible for during a snowstorm. And each outline is a region. So we have about 15 different regions that our managers are currently uh, rotating yep. through during a storm. That's actually the job I started with here at the company three years ago when I came into it. 
And so one of the things that I just want to highlight about, you know, kind of how we do what we do, when people ask, so how do you do snow all year round? One of the things is we don't have a huge, long, uh, large uh, uh, base of full-time workers. Okay. So we have seasonal workers, and we have seasonal partnerships. But there are some people who want to give that a hard time, give that a bad name. Uh, there's a lot of people who are really emphasizing self-performance, which is wonderful. I mean, if, if your model is self-performance, that's great, but it's not the, every model for everybody. Right. Neither is our model for everybody. And so one of the things that's, I think, different than, say, just a management company who brokers deals, a, a management company that brokers deals, they go get the contract, they find the contractor, they partner them up and say, I'll see you in April. Okay. But what this map tells you, we manage our sites. We manage our contracts because our name's on it. Sure. We designed it. There are clients that we service, and we partner with leading individuals and leading companies in the area so that you have, well, frankly, you have two people with names on their shirt that they value. Right. And you have two people, and you have somebody who's going just a few minutes away from their shop and headquarters rather than going three, four hours away coming in to do a job. So that's one of the things we love about our model is it's really personable, it's people forward, yep. and it's really built on relationships with quality people and quality workers. So really quick, let me ask you about that for just a second because uh, the reason I was suggested your guys' shop and setup was because you guys don't have 300 people here on staff, right? <clears throat> you guys have service partners or um, what did you call them earlier? Service providers. Service providers. Yep. So, so talk to me how you guys are set up as a company uh, because you guys are doing some crazy revenue, but uh, we'll get into the shop tour. Uh, you don't have 300 trucks out there. You have equipment, but you don't. That's not your business model. So it's right. different. So that's really, really unique, and that's why we're here. Yeah. So we really the, the heart and soul of it are our service providers, and they are small, independent business owners, uh, much like yourself, who yep. are um, out there hustling and grinding. Um, and to be honest, they're focused on the green season. They're focused on their landscaping, their hardscaping, their concrete, their excavation, wh whatever it might be. Sure. They're focused on that, you know, pretty much year-round. And so the win-win is uh, they can come alongside us in, in the snow season. They don't have to take time to go out and bid snow sites. They don't have to take time to yeah. to go uh, build a snow crew or anything like that. Like they can come alongside us. We have great sites, um, and we'll provide training to their crews, snow training. And they come alongside us and work through the winter. And then as soon as winter's over, they can go right back to what they're doing. They don't have to worry about following up the clients or billing. Um, account management, billing. Yeah. Like we're doing all that through uh, our office here. Yep. And our goal is to work with great contractors. So, um, you know, we have a pretty, pretty uh, tough vetting process of our contractors. Um, to, to work with us, you have to come meet with us in person. We're all about relationships. Um, yep. And ultimately, we just want to do good work with good people. So yeah. At the end of the day, it's what we're about. And every, it. everybody benefits from that. Yep. The clients benefit, we benefit, and the subcontractors, the service providers, they benefit by having, to be honest, I think that the standards that we hold, I think elevate other people's games as well. Yeah. And I have talked, this isn't everybody that we work with, but I have talked with people that are saying like, hey, you, you guys are my sales team, go get those contracts I can't get. Sure. And because you know what it's like to get some like large scale commercial contracts, it's a year, multi-year process to right. build those relationships, get in the door, and to be able to have the vetting and uh, platform to convince people for a really lot of money. I love it. To take care of the stuff. So that's one of the things that we provide is that middle of the road. And the other thing is, you know, our guys aren't having to necessarily go back and take care of all the documentation or afterwards when somebody says, oh, you broke a curve. We have our staff in here, our account managers and so forth, that we process that before. Sure. So that we don't waste people's time. Gotcha. All right, well, cool. This is, uh, this is a really cool map, and I love the uh, the Christmas lights. Very festive uh, for this time of year. So, all right. And you got the place clean right before lunch. Yeah, right. There you go. Well, we're going to about to get some, uh, what did you say, some Philly cheese steaks? steaks? Got to get cheese steaks. steaks. All right. Okay, where are we going next? Right, let's go out to the shop. Going up. All right. Welcome to our shop. Um, because of the time of year, there's not, it's not very much in here, to be honest. Uh, but typically, this houses. Uh, about 20 plow trucks, uh, about 16 sidewalk machines, um, some loaders, uh, telehandlers, stuff like that. Cool. Um, but this is really the kind of the heart and soul of our shop. Um, we have two full-time shop people who, who work out here to manage our fleet, uh, kind of manage the logistics of delivering equipment, bring it back, washing it after every single storm. They are amazing. They keep us running. They yep. absolutely keep the whole operation running. They're, yep. they're the backbone, they're the, the hinge, whatever, you want, whatever metaphor you want to use. They're sure. The, so Tim and Pat are our guys. Yeah, here's uh, this is one of our service trucks. Um, we run all four trucks and all Western plows, as you can see. Okay. Pretty good checklist after every single storm. They're they're being um, washed uh, with a hot pressure washer, um, maintained. There's an entire checklist that each vehicle goes through to make sure that it's it's ready before we send it out. Sure, and that makes sense. There's a subcontractor 
esque business model, or at least, at least heavily, heavily on that. You guys don't have 300 plows laying around, right? right? So you guys, you guys have some of your own stuff. What stuff do you guys keep in in house that you guys do manage? Yeah, so we uh, we do a full liquids program uh, pre treatment. So our sites get treated by Sours trucks uh, with Snowex brine sprayers ahead of most storms. Okay. Unless, uh, unless it's starting as rain. Um, so we do all that in house still. Um, we have three three brine sprayers. Um, just in our regular plow trucks, like most of them are 250s or 350s. Okay. Extended cabs, typically Western V plows or Western straight blades. Okay, cool. So you guys uh, have a lot of Western stuff here? Yeah, strictly Western. Well, there you go. They're yep. one of the tour sponsors, yep. so they make some great plows. Yep. We, we have a saying right here, we want mutual success. Like yep. in order for us to be successful, the companies we partner with have to be successful as well. So however we can make that happen, uh, at the end of the day, it's all about being a power of a team and just coming together and getting the job done. I love it, man. I, I love it. I love it. he said power of a team. One of the things that's, um, I've been a lot of organizations, whether it's business or whether it's a religious nonprofit and so forth. I think everybody comes out with core values. Everyone comes out with value statements. But my years here, I've watched them teach it, preach it, and live it. Cool. And that's been the cool thing is that the ethos of this. So we're, we're people first. We're people forward. We're community. We're, ultimately, the way this business started was siblings starting a business. Actually, it started with a dad saying to the oldest son, Go mow them a neighbor's lawn across the street. Okay. Right? And so that neighbor helping neighbor, even if it's, you know, down on the other side of Philadelphia or on the other side of the Delaware River in New Jersey, it's still built on the value of we're a community member servicing a community member. So that we want to make sure that if we run into you in the grocery store, you're happy to see us. There you go. And we're happy to see you as well. And that's part of our service provider model is that we get somebody from that community who doesn't want to make a mess in their own backyard. You know what I mean? Yep. So that's one of the strengths and benefits of our service model mm -hmm. providers. You get people who have very much a lot of pride in their own name, a lot of pride in their own company and in their community. And so we partner, we may, we may be the one to win the contract for them, but we partner with local people with local people. And it's, it's really been been helpful. That's awesome. Yeah, you'll, you'll see in just a second up in our, our main conference room, we have our core values up on the wall. And it's so much more than that. Like they're there to remind us, but really, uh, you know, every Monday morning, Ken leads a, a stand-up meeting to start off the week, mm -hmm. and we review a core value all together. Um, just you know, we want to keep them in front of mind. Like we, we want them to really be the, like living they, and breathing in our they, organization. They need to be known, but they need to guide and they need to be lived. I love it. I love it. So where are we going next, guys? Uh, let's go uh, head up to the uh, upstairs. All right, I'm following you. All Instagram photos from Sours are shot from this spot right here. This angle? This yeah. might be a good shot right here. So this is the whole warehouse so you guys can see. It actually goes down pretty far. You can go pan the whole place. All right, here we go. So what is up here, Ken? This is our main conference room. This is our executive offices. This is our admin offices. This is our, our marketing office. And this is where now we've grown a little bit so that we have lunches up here often. Yeah. And we have our here, team meetings and our so like tomorrow we're gonna be having a big lunch and learn. There'll be the table will be full and there'll be a ring out here of all of our people coming in uh, for that meeting. Those steps get you winded. Me too. That's a lot of steps. Are we all out of breath too? Or is it oh just yeah, me? oh for sure. <laughs> Thanks for covering for me. Yeah, I need to get some cardio going, man. It's the off season. Did you call me Santa earlier? <laughs> Because I'm tall. That's what. That's what. Is white beard. Yeah, the pastor beard. But anyway, which way? Um, so what? So this is the. Is, is this operations or is this more like strategic game planning when there's a snow event? Yeah, it's open to everyone. Uh, our admin team will use it when they're. Um, they, our seasonal admin team comes in to help uh, invoice after a storm. Okay. Our operations team will use it uh, for weekly meetings. Just whoever needs it. Our full open. corporate lunches. Our team meetings. This afternoon, our, our seasonal uh, uh, field operations managers are going to come in for their training. We start training in October. We train all the way through the winter, once a week, unless there's snow that uh, interrupts it. Okay. So Zach's running that training for our 15 people later on this afternoon. Yeah. And uh, so this, t this is what's where a lot of the uh, teaching and the admin happens. Gotcha. So Zach, what's a, what's a training meeting consist of? Like um, where to plow snow, where to stack snow, or they have a higher level responsibility? Yeah, it's more, uh, probably more like philosophical, uh, um, following scopes of work, um, industry standards, what to do if this, whatever that would be happens. Okay. Uh, we kind of run them through uh, real life scenarios and help them uh, formulate answers. That way they can think quickly in the field if something happens. Um, when it's snowing, you don't have the luxury of uh, time, unfortunately. So. Uh, we're really training our team to try to think quickly on their feet and, and handle solutions, uh, handle problems and, and form solutions as they can. So those 15 or so people are responsible for the 40 plus subs and then some out in the field. Correct. So yeah. they report back to those guys. Correct. And, and our field ops managers report back to our account managers. So we have a, a pretty good structure in place to 
um, easily communicate with a lot of people very quickly. Cool. Um, and then as far as accountability, um, we have a, a chain for that as well. Well, that's super helpful because we've all been out there four in the morning, something breaks down, you got nobody. Yep. Right, you got nobody to call. You don't know what to do next, and so you got two or three people. And that's why Ken, you were joking earlier. If the call is getting to you, there's a breakdown, right? Because there's two or three people in yep. between. Realistically, that should have already been able to handle that situation, which is really awesome. Yeah, I mean, we, the, the, our whole, the question, what do you do all summer? Um, is how you be prepared for everything. Yeah, have backup plans. Backup plans on top of backup plans on top of backup plans, <laughs> and you know, this training meeting is is to help them decide, you know, if, if this happens, here's my first solution, here's my second solution, here's my third. Gotcha, awesome, man. All right, so a couple offices up here, and then I uh, got the conference room, which is awesome, and uh, so where are we going next? I'm following you guys. Let's just awesome. come on over and pop in, see if Mike's available. Mr. Mike, what's this up, is, boss, how are we doing? Mike Sowers. Hey, how are we doing? Hey guys, one of the founders of the company. How you doing, bud? Good, how are we doing today? Doing good, man, these guys are doing a great job at the shop tour and uh giving us away all the secrets man that's why we keep them around i know right <laughs> so we're trying not to spill too much of the candy yeah there, there you go the secret sauce right um so tell me a little bit uh anything you want to share with these guys but uh ken was filling us in you guys started as a family business still a family business yep uh how many was it what 20 years ago now yeah 22 years we incorporated in year 2000 and uh my brother and i started cutting grass a few years before that Wow, no kid. And so when did you guys decide to go into snow and then really, when did you decide to go like all in on snow? Uh, well, growing our landscape company, one of our trucks had a snow plow and we picked up a couple opportunities and that's how we kind of got started back when we were, you know, teenagers. Okay. And, uh, you know, as we grew our business, we got more opportunities, bought more snow plow trucks and took on more snow accounts and realized that the snow division was growing more profitably than the landscape and the tree division. And uh, we started making a shift around 2015 to be snow focused okay. year round. Wow, that's awesome. Um, I don't wanna to take too much of your time. You got a busy, busy day going on here. Uh, we just wanted to peek in really quick, but a lot of guys that might be watching this, they aspire to be the next Sours, right? The next yeah. regional uh, player. Maybe they wanna be a national guy one day, who knows? Um, you guys been doing this for 22 years. Any quick tips or suggestions for those guys that are watching in that that either A, somebody you wish that told you, or B, something that was maybe helpful for you that, that made the difference. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, believe in yourself. Uh, you can do it. Just, you know, you're going to have hard times and rough times, and you'll question yourself. And, you know, uh, lean on others that are have already been there and done that to get their perspective and coaching and mentoring. And uh, that's how we got to where we are. You know, we networked with other industry professionals and picked up uh, pieces here and there and build our own thing. So that's awesome. Uh, you don't have to do it alone, but I, I love keep it. with it. I love it. Um, hey, one last quick question. What is, uh, what is Sours known for? That's a question I was going to ask you. What is Sours known for? Uh, I would say our quality of service and just doing the right thing for our customers and our employees. Um, you know, we can go to sleep at night knowing that we're, we're doing the right thing. We're not ripping people off. We're not taking advantage of anyone. We're providing top quality service. We're not always the cheapest, but we give the value. Wow, that's awesome, man. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate that. Um, by the way, I don't know if these guys need a raise or just an attaboy, but they're doing a great job, man. So I really appreciate that's the awesome. time. Attaboy. There you go. Thank you. There attaboy. you go. <laughs> I <laughs> checked in the mail, right? Take care, guys. Keep, All right. keep up the good work. Thanks again, brother. Appreciate that. Yeah, that, and they leave out the tub of lifesavers, too. That's pretty. That's a nice yeah. part. <laughs> yeah, those are always there on the table for you guys, you know? Um, <laughs> checks in the mail, right? You yeah, get your, yeah. your, your bonus later. Um, <laughs> so where do you guys want to go from here? I mean, this has uh, been pretty much the loop. Um, behind me is the door on the way out, so we're going to go down there, and maybe we can butt some things up? Yeah, the rest of the upstairs, they're all meetings, unfortunately, but finance team, uh, Steph Sowers, the president of our company, marketing is here. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, we can head down to the, the lobby again and... Butt it up. So this is our loop. This is it, and then now uh, we're out of here. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna butt it up right here. But uh, super appreciate the tour, guys. Um, any, any parting thoughts that you guys have? I know we talked to Mike as well, but you guys are doing the day to day. You guys are crushing it, selling the jobs, making sure the work's getting done. Um, any any helpful tips or anything you guys want to leave these guys? But we'll butt it up. Yeah, I think follow through on what you say you're gonna do. That's at the end of the day. Um, you know, if we say we're going to pay someone with a certain amount of time, we're going to make sure we do that. Cool. Um, we say we're going to do a certain amount of scope of work for a site, we're going to do that. Like, just follow through. That's, that's the key to success. I mean, maybe it's just the sad state of the way the world is today, but when the bar is set high that you do what you say you're going to do, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a pretty easy bar to hit. Mm. So we go the extra mile. Uh, one part, uh, business partner that we're partnering with now has come in and observed us, and one of our newer core values is grit. Mm. Undeterred grit because we do the hard things uh, 
even when it hurts. Yep. So yep. that's kind of how we build our company. That's how we build our workers and our, our culture. And so with that kind of grit, you can get through the hard times. I love yeah. it. I love it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for the shop tour. Appreciate you guys. Thank uh, you for coming. Brian. Make sure you give these guys a follow on Instagram. We'll leave the podcast in the description as well. But guys, thank you so much for the tour. Cool. Thanks, Brian.